Stephanie Smith, Regional Agronomy Manager for 360 Yield Center. Today in Southern Michigan, a lot of folks are starting day one, perhaps day two of wheat harvest. So just a little thought for the day. Why don't we take some of the things that we use to grow wheat, the practices to grow wheat, and apply them directly to corn. So wheat is a three, C3 grass. We think about corn as a C4 grass. Both of these grasses, I think there's things that we can learn from wheat's playbook when we go to looking at efficient growth of, of corn. You know, thinking, thinking about wheat in terms of fertility, most growers will have at least two passes of nitrogen and two passes of sulfur. This is so the plant has it readily available throughout the season. We're applying sulfur to this crop because A, it's very sensitive to it, and two, we're not getting it from the environment anymore. We think about a fungicide application. Many growers will look to, to apply twice, maybe even three times a fungicide. You know, we're really looking at protecting that flag leaf from a foliar standpoint in wheat, as well as protecting the head from head scab um, when we think about uh, vomitoxin coming through late season. You know, when we think about corn, we should really be thinking about protecting that ear leaf when it comes to a fungicide application, as well in some cases where we get really high humidity during uh, pollination for, for a grain uh, type of application in terms of fungicide as well. So just a little bit of thought, you know, thinking about what we see with growing wheat, we think about efficiency, you know, why don't we start applying some of these concepts, if we're not already, when we think about corn and growing corn most efficiently uh, for our return on our investment.